All right, so ready for a little trip to Broadway with me today. Always up for a show, virtually or otherwise. Well, you know me, I always love to dig into something uh, a little different. And today we're taking a deep dive into a review of Romeo plus Juliet. Classic, timeless. <laughs> exactly. But, and here's the twist. This isn't your typical Dusty Shakespearean production. No. The review makes it sound like, uh, well, think club music. Hmm, interesting. Modernized, big time. Mm -hmm. Costumes straight out of a fashion magazine and even original songs by Jack Antonoff. Wow, that's quite the departure. Right. It really makes you wonder, can you have a tragic love story with a pop concert vibe? I mean, is that even possible? <laughs> that's the million dollar question, isn't it? I mean, this production seems to be trying to walk that very fine line between honoring you know, honoring the original text, but also reinventing it for a modern audience. Yeah, and the sheer volume of modern elements, I mean, the music, the costumes, the set design, it just makes you wonder if that much, I don't know, if all that could just kind of overwhelm the story's emotional core. Yeah, it's easy to get swept up in the spectacle, right? Totally. And speaking of spectacle, the review actually mentioned that Kit Connor, you know him? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so he's playing Romeo, and he's known for his charming, almost goofy persona, especially uh, like from his role in Heartstopper. Oh, yeah. I loved him in that. Me too. Yeah. But it just makes you wonder, I mean, does that kind of energy really fit with Romeo? Yeah. You know, the Romeo we all picture, that passionate, brooding lover driven to desperate measures. I don't know. That's an interesting choice. It really is. And the review even said that um, his chemistry with Rachel Zegler, who's playing Juliet, feels more playful, like, you know, more modern rom-com than Shakespearean tragedy. Yeah, casting Connor is definitely a bold choice, that's for sure. I mean, he brings a youthful energy and a certain lightness to the role, which, you know, you know, could make those romantic scenes feel a little less intense. Exactly. And it made me think about those pivotal scenes where the tragedy really hits, you know, right. like Mercutio's death, the final misunderstanding between Romeo and Juliet, those moments, I mean, are supposed to just wreck you emotionally. And the review actually claimed that um, that they lacked that emotional weight in this production. Oh, wow. I wonder if that's because of Connor's portrayal of Romeo. I mean, if we're seeing Romeo through a more comedic lens, you know, maybe those moments of loss and despair just don't hit us as hard. Yeah, that's a really good point. Or maybe it's all the spectacle. Maybe they're just dazzling the audience so much with the visual elements mm -hmm. that we lose that emotional connection. Because mm -hmm. the review was talking about how Romeo's in like a sequin suit and Juliet is sporting Doc Martens and the lighting and the set and everything is just super vibrant and dynamic. It all sounds incredibly eye-catching, mm. but is it all style and no substance? Right. It's all about finding that balance, isn't it? I mean, you want to be visually stunning, but you don't want to lose the heart of the story in the process. Totally. So, I mean... For our listeners, it sounds like this adaptation of Romeo plus Juliet mm. is definitely an experience, maybe unlike anything you've seen before. Yeah, a real feast for the eyes and ears, for sure, with a very modern twist. But if you're going into it expecting to be, you know, emotionally wrecked by Shakespeare's tragedy, you might want to think twice about whether this is the right interpretation for you. Exactly. I mean, this production is really pushing boundaries. It's like they're experimenting with how we experience this classic story. But the real question is, does it move you? Does it make you feel the weight of Romeo and Juliet's love and loss? Or is it just a spectacle? A really good question. And something for our listeners to consider if they're thinking about seeing the show. Yeah, I think that's the real takeaway here. This production asks us, can a classic tragedy still resonate when it's presented in such a modern, visually driven way? Right. Is it a breath of fresh air for the story? Mm -hmm. Or does it lose its heart in the process? Yeah. I guess it's up to each of us to decide. All right. Well, on that note, that's our deep dive into Romeo plus Juliet on Broadway. Until next time. See you then.